Fruits and vegetables grown decades ago were much richer in vitamins and minerals than the varieties that most of us get today. We simply are not getting the nutrients that previous generations did. Ben Warren is a leading nutritionist here to talk to us about the deficiencies that many of us suffer as a result of modern living. Welcome, Ben. Thanks for having me. Really nice to have you here. Now, first up, tell me, what are the most common complaints that you hear? We see a lot of problems around energy and fatigue uh, with women, hormonal issues, a lot of autoimmunity these days, and then, of course, a lot of gut issues. Yeah, everything seems to come back to the gut, doesn't it? It really does. It probably is, uh, you know, one of the keys to our health is getting the gut working really well. Is this new information that we're getting because it's been linked to depression also? Sorts of things, Absolutely. Yeah, I think our understanding of the relationship between the gut and the brain and the, the beneficial bacteria or the biome or the bacteria levels yeah. that live within our gut is, is certainly it's developing very quickly. So what causes the worst problems? What causes the worst problems in regards to foods? Well, it's, it's probably multifactorial in the modern world. Sugar, eating a lot of sugar is a real problem because it then you feeds the unfriendly that. strains of bacteria. And then we get overgrowth of those unfriendly strains, which then really cause problems in our immune system mm -hmm. and uh, really throws out our whole system. So we need to be making sure that we're eating the right ones and not the wrong ones. Yeah, in but regards to the bacteria, yeah. So we want to be eating uh, the probiotics are, are bacteria which are, have a known health benefit. Yeah. So yeah, we want to be eating sort of probiotic strains of bacteria. Yeah, but the sugars taste so good. This is the thing. I mean, I know that changing your diet obviously has a big impact. Um, you've helped a lot of people with this, haven't you? This is what Alana had to say when she's she's been talking to oh. you. Have a look at this. Ben did a lot of tests uh, to see where, what, where things were at with vitamin D and iodine and things like that. He put me on a full fat, full protein diet and low carbohydrates, which everyone was freaking out about because of my high cholesterol. So when I went back to the doctor after a year later, she did all the tests on me and my cholesterol has been the lowest it's ever been in my whole life. So really, um, a really clear pathway that I could understand and that I could use and it was functional and it was really easy to do. So now it's a whole different ball game. Wow, so she changed everything and that's just by changing diet yeah. and what she's taking. Yeah, exactly. It's just basically getting the nutrients her body needs and then by changing, uh, finding the right diet for her that works for her system. So everyone's going to be slightly different. Everyone's going to be slightly different and I guess that's what we do is help people try and find what works for them. So oh, this is making it even more intriguing. So what would you say then are the, the five top tips if you had to nail it down for a healthier gut? So a healthier gut, would, number one would be uh, probably moving away from gluten uh, because gluten containing foods are, uh, we know that most people's immune systems are responding to it and it's causing problems in their gut. Really? Yeah, and so um, one study showed that, that even it, gluten caused inflammation in everybody. It didn't matter whether they're a celiac or a non-celiac, non so oh, okay. they were, they're getting problems Okay, so steer away from gluten. Steering away from got? gluten. Uh, and then we want to really heal the gut, and you want to be drinking lots of bone broths or, or chicken broths to help heal the gut. They've got a lot of beneficial nutrients that really help the, the gut regrow and heal. So drinking a lot of bone broth. Should you make your own? Yeah, you can certainly make your own, and, and there's a lot of people out there making great bone broths now, so... <clears throat> you can also so, buy them. Good, that's good to yeah, know. Yeah, it makes it easier. Number three? Number three, this is a little different, but uh, you've got to know your transit time. So your transit time is how long it takes food to go in, to go out, and so you actually got to know your transit time, which means <laughs> okay. uh, a good way to test this is eat a bunch of beetroot and, uh, and wait for it to come through. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah. Good. It's, uh, yeah, but you want to be 12 to 24 hours, and so Sound most advice. people are way too long. And tips four and five? Uh, four and five are going to be eat... eat Probiotic foods, these are going to be things like sauerkraut, yogurt, uh, kimchi, uh, kombucha, kefir, these sort of foods yeah. that are going to be bringing in beneficial bacteria. And then tip number five is going to be feed those beneficial bacteria with prebiotic foods, which are going to be things like uh, legumes, beans, lentils, onions, garlic. So you actually got to feed the beneficial bacteria wow. as well. A lot of great things to think about there. And I love the transit time. I'm going to be trying yeah, that. A lot of people will that. go, whoa. <laughs> uh, you'll know what he, what, what he means with the beetroot when you try it. Great advice. And if you'd like to hear more from Ben Warren, he'll be speaking at the Be Pure Live Well Festival at the Cloud in Auckland this weekend. And we have five double passes to give away. So go to the Cafe Facebook page for details. Thank you so much for coming along, Ben. Thanks for having me. That's been enlightening. Plenty of food for thought there.